gosh, it's good to be back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rasp. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I kind of just hated Modern Warfare and I just didn't want to make a video about it or anything about Modern Warfare in general. So that's kind of where it's at, guys. Make sure before this even starts, go pre-order Call of Duty Cold War so you get beta access, all right? I'm telling you this now so you know. Go do it now, please and thank you. Hope the audio's not too, 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 too loud as I missed my first shot. Good lord. I'm, listen, don't focus about the gameplay, all right? Don't focus on the gameplay, just focus about what I'm talking about, okay? Because it's Call of Duty War, or Call of Duty Cold War. Gosh darn it, Call of Duty Cold War guys, multiplayer video, this is what this is, here's what we're gonna talk about. So just assume off the bat, we're just gonna go with gun. Off the bat, first listing, we could probably sit there and conclude that a lot of the weapons for Call of Duty Cold War are gonna be the Black Ops 1 weapons, so M16 that was actually in the uh, reveal trailer, aka the AK-47U was in there as well. There was a sniper, I don't, I think, I don't wanna sit there and say that it is the, uh, I'm just drawing blank. It's not, okay, it's not the L9, it's not the L9, I actually, like, try to look at myself, it might be the L9 sick. That's what I possibly think it is, but I don't I don't think it is, so we'll have to see when the actual multiplayer listing comes out. Also, just want to throw this out there that this is a, a like technically confirmed listing about what's in the game and what isn't in the game. This is off just the top of my head and what I'm trying to tell you guys from the reveal trailer, of course. Now the M1911 is also back. I did see that the pistol. Now there looked like to be the Galil was in there as well, something in there. And don't quote me on this, but I heard or I thought I saw the uh, the G11. If you guys know what that is, it's probably, I think it's the second or third gun in BO1. Oh, in this game, you can actually unlock itself. Now, the Commander, or Commander, how you, or I think it's the Commander, I think that's how you pronounce it. It is, on, it was shown in the reveal trailer as well, thrown out there. Now, there was uh, a glimpse of Warzone at the end of the trailer, which I don't know the specific guns that were there. There's an LMG for, oh, it looks like one of them was LMG, but don't, don't like quote me on that. But gun listing wise, that is from what I know specifically. Everything I talk about actually in this video is what I assume from just seeing in the trailer the information that I've gathered so far. Oh, I'm so hot to your garbage at this game. Now, a map. We don't have a listing of maps multiplayer yet, but we can assume, and I'm saying this assuming, is just for the fact that, you know, Activision loves getting remastered maps. There's no map listing for Cold War, but we can assume just because Activision, you know, their remakes and stuff like that. And also during the uh, trailer, the ritual for Cold War, I spot glimpses of a couple of, uh, of maps. Uh, one of them being, I guess you could call it Jungle, because there was a part uh, where they were in, I guess, this, where, wherever Jungle was at. We can honestly assume firing is going to be remastered. Of course, Nuketown, Summit, it was definitely going to be remastered, remastered no matter what. Launch, possibly as well. I think I saw, uh, Kulun, if that's how you pronounce it. I forget exactly. Uh, I thought I saw a glimpse of that. And of course, Berlin Wall. We did see that in there as well, which I'm super excited if they bring Berlin Wall back. It was actually one of my favorite maps to play, BO1. Actually, the whole, uh, BO1 map listing and just the whole game is actually super, super enjoyable and fun to play. We're already off the top know that those maps will probably be in here. Especially, they're going to have free maps for content-wise. So, I mean, which just assume that already to begin with. And hopefully, the map listing is bigger than what it usually is because they could really do a lot of maps and hopefully they do have a lot of maps because content map wise is what makes or breaks a game i mean of course the mechanics do as well but especially how many maps you have now for multiplayer the blueprint system is back uh i'm not the biggest fan about this because i do not like the blueprint system i don't like the fact that you can zoom in a lot like we just change your well blueprints and then having the like it, the ability to change all your attachments to increase your ADS, stuff like that. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. I'm really not. I, I disliked it. Uh, I think it, like, yes, it's it's good in a sense of everybody having their own unique play style, changing their weapons, all that stuff like that, but also makes every weapon broken in a sense. Now, with multiplayer, uh, the whole game actually whole is uh, cross progression. So, Warzone, multiplayer, campaign, and zombies. It won't matter what you play on, you'll still be able to lock stuff for every mode now the uh system i don't know how they're gonna do create a system uh it might be the same as modern warfare it might not be they said they were gonna pick a lot of things out from every black ops game they've made or every track game they've made and pick what was the best out of all of them so hopefully they pick some good things like the credit class system from bo2 be wonderful to see that now good old kill streaks they might change them uh we already kind of have one confirmed i think because of warzone uh the chopper gun is uh, i think it's a chopper gun is what it's called it's the it's uh the one after attack or before attack dogs in black ops one where you're out of an a or yeah it's an ac 130 or i think it's an ac 130 but you're shooting the, the minigun turret out of there so that's confirmed already uh rcxds that was in the reveal trailer as well that will be back i'm super excited about that actually really excited about that 
We could assume some of the Black Ops 1, kill, I think, uh, kill streak wise will be back. Hopefully the Blackbird's back. They're so legendary in Black Ops 1. And of course, depending on how they feel about Modern Warfare with the whole UAV system they kind of tinkered with in the radar and stuff, I hope it goes back to you know what UAV should be but we don't know especially the radar but they haven't confirmed anything kill streak wise so hopefully so this is all is speculation for now until we get some actual multiplayer beta footage the multiplayer as a whole just like finding matches and searching for match a lot of stuff is based off of skill based matchmaking in of warfare you guys can see that video by the way uh got 100k views by the way thank you so much uh, everybody that supported and came for that and subscribed to that by the way or has subbed from that video but skill based matchmaking is horrible in my opinion if it's super super broken and overpowered which which it is i mean good lord modern warfare the definition of why your skill-based matchmaking shouldn't be as high as it is so hopefully they tone that down i really really do hope they tone that down if that's the case we'll be good i think and they don't make weapons easy as heck to get kills with because that's another big problem with modern warfare is they made uh the game super noob friendly i think the, the biggest thing this year with multiplayer is making sure the maps are good skill-based matchmaking isn't extremely stupid like it is right now in modern warfare make sure weapons are balanced it, it just got to be balanced spot cops one i think is a perfect example of balanced a balanced call of duty that's just my opinion but they have to have a good call of duty game now ranking system so far guys um how they're doing this it's kind of going to be the same thing as they did for modern warfare i think they confirmed that don't quote me on that though i think that i hope they don't but i think that's what they're doing i'm not a fan of it i'm not uh because they have the there's why i say this is the fact that they have battle pass they got a battle pass this year uh which i'm not a fan of like i said before i'm, I'm not i'm not a fan of the whole battle pass system. i'm not a fan of the whole ranking system but that's going to be brought back also if you pre to the game you're gonna have operators so operators are gonna be in the game as well you're gonna have operators plus dlc weapons of course or add on weapons of the game that's what you want to call it cross platform of course is back i'm not surprised how how they tweak it this year if they're gonna keep the same as it was for modern warfare because it was good just besides people complaining about aim assist but you know I think I covered all the main topics for today, guys. Um, now this won't be just a uh, just one video. There'll be a uh, part two for this. There'll also be a uh, campaign video, uh, uh, all on its own. It's all an all on its own zombies video. Same thing with Warzone. So basically, what we're gonna be doing, guys, we're gonna be having these videos, and they're not gonna come out probably as soon as the information drops. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect information over time, and we'll put it into one video so that it's just a bunch of information full at once, rather than just me doing some small small videos that are like two minutes long of just like little information so that's that's that i appreciate your beautiful faces guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it a like and i'm gonna see you in the next video